Oh no. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Hello everybody and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet, I hope you're having a fantastic day. A while ago I made a video in which I talked about jinns, mythical beings that exist within Islam, that most Muslims believe in. Beings that are supposed to exist among us, physically, but invisible, made of smokeless fire. They interact with the world around us and possess people and so on. I made a video in which I analyzed that and challenged people to give me footage of things moving around by themselves or of people being dragged through the air and kidnapped because according to the islamically authentic reports that is how muhammad described jinns they come out at a time in the evening and steal your belongings and kidnap children since then several muslims sent a video to me and said how do you explain this then so i decided to sit down and watch that video it is called five scariest pieces of jinn footage ever recorded by top fives let's watch these five scary footage videos shape-shifting jinn now this one is weird the quality is poor and it was caught on a security camera and from that was filmed onto a mobile phone what a surprise the quality is poor i didn't expect better somehow the quality is always poor my first thoughts were it looks like a small child crawling around but what would a child be doing crawling around the streets in the early hours of the morning i have a better question what would a jinn be doing crawling outside in the streets The clip was filmed in Rahat in Israel in 2016, and many who believe in the jinn believe this is an example of one taking the form of a human. <laughs> Again, we have little <laughs> more information than that, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. So this is not even supposed to be a footage of a strange being, it's supposed to be footage of a human crawling around. But this is then presented as a jinn taking the form of a human. Dude, that looks like a drunk guy, leave him alone. I mean, seriously, let, let's be serious for a moment. This looks like somebody who is drunk or who has problems, who is crawling around outside looking for something. Maybe he dropped his glasses and he's drunk and he's looking for them. How in the world is this a scary jinn footage? When even the claim about the footage is that it is a jinn impersonating a human. I mean, please, what kind of a low bar is this? This next footage was caught on CCTV camera in a supermarket in China. Take a look. That could be a seizure as it... Again, we only have a human making movements. There is no gin footage. We have a woman screaming. Why is this one person just filming that looks realistic i have to give them that okay she looks like she has trouble and now moving forward in the video what's interesting is this part she does this maybe it's just a very strong sneeze i don't know <laughs> sorry things are thrown back and move and the camera is shaken as well What's interesting is that only a line of things is affected. Other objects around her are unmoved. And the way the camera glitches looks very movie-like. And then she's carried away. And then that, that, that same thing that she picked up before falls down again. My first question was... Why would this be happening? Why would random things fall? Why is this a sign of jinns? And why specifically jinns? But then I had to, of course, dig into this and try to find the origin of this footage. And there is no origin to this footage that is known. It was just anonymously spread on the internet. Nobody knows what 
place this is, what store this is, what market this is. Nobody has the names of the people on this video. Nobody has made a report about it that this is from their own store or that this happened to them. There is nothing. There are only news reports of this allegedly happening somewhere in China. And that's all we have. And this is, of course, a common pattern in supposed gin footage or supernatural footage. Low quality pictures or low quality videos without any context, without any further information. That's, of course, very convenient. Anybody could make this up. Anybody could edit it. It looks like a nicely done performance video. I have to give it that. How exactly is this gin footage? Shouldn't prove to something supernatural that apparently happens all the time be more obvious, more accessible? The next one is ridiculous. I don't want to dwell too much on that. The narrator of this video founds it very scary and says that the, spe that the video speaks for itself, that it's low quality, that there is unfortunately no further information. Wow, how, how surprising. And on the video you see that there are these children running around and making noises, acting like zombies. And one of these kids seems to have fun here. <laughs> How is this gin footage? It could be that these guys are acting something out, putting on a performance, or it could be that they have problems. I could probably organize a scene like this of people coming together and acting in weird ways and pretending to be zombies. How is that gin footage? This one was filmed in a mosque. The lady who enters is claimed to have been possessed by a gin. Again, unfortunately, I have no more information on this clip. The fourth one, number two here in this video, is again marketed as a very scary footage. And the guy who made this video or who narrates it seems to be completely clueless about it. Of course, he says again that he has no context, no further information to it. And he says that a woman enters and she seems to be possessed by a djinn. What I did, of course, very quickly was to try and look for this footage. You can find it right here on YouTube. It's 35 minutes long. And the whole thing is not a random incident of a woman walking into a mosque and doing very crazy things. There are multiple women here. It is a session in congregation done for the specific purpose of dealing with people who are thought to be possessed by jinns. Where the reciter in the front tries to recite Quran verses and prayers to target those jinns that these people have been apparently possessed by. I find this scene very funny where it looks like he spits on her and she's just offended. <laughs> This again is not gin footage. These would be cases of mental problems that can be treated in better ways instead of reading the Quran to them. Moving around in weird ways, reacting to somebody trying to treat you when you have mental problems is not a sign of jinns. Nor is it gin footage ever recorded, please. Doll possessed by jinn. In 2014, a small doll was found leaning up against a tree on a busy street in Hogang in Singapore. Nothing strange about that, you might think. It probably dropped out of a child's buggy. However, this was no child's toy. The scruffy antique doll had been blindfolded and written on the cloth used was a word written in Arabic. Posts on Reddit and Twitter reveal the owner of the doll believed it was possessed as it had been moving around the house on its own and was also heard talking to itself. The owner was so freaked out that she wanted the doll out of the house and found that the only way to do this and make sure it didn't follow her back home was to leave it somewhere far away and mask its eyes. The curse would then be passed onto whoever found the doll and uncovered its eyes. It was later revealed that the Arabic writing translated to the word Bishmillah, it was an Arabic later phrase revealed. meaning in the name of God. This led to speculation that the doll was possessed by a jinn. Where the doll is now or who the unfortunate person is who removed the blindfold is unknown, as the doll has never been seen since. Unless any of you know of its whereabouts. <laughs> yeah, I have the doll right here. Yeah, and I'm serious. The doll is right here. Hello. I mean... So that's five supposed gin encounters, possessions, Yes, yeah, supposed gin encounters. Okay, so we have a doll and we have stories of people online, anonymous Reddit users, saying the doll was whispering things and would follow the people of the house around. And that's why the owner of this doll blindfolded it and wanted to get rid of it. So what did the owner do? He or she attempted to get rid of it by placing the doll next to a busy road. <laughs> How brilliant. 
if you want to get rid of the doll, throw it in a trash, burn it, do something, I don't know. Bring it to a special place, watch it be crushed. I guarantee you, you will get rid of it. It will not bother you. It's of course very unfortunate that we don't have video footage of this doll actually walking around and following the people of the house and whispering things. At this point, I really wonder why 18,000 people like this video. The only scary thing about this is that people actually take this seriously. People have very low standards. This is not footage of gents. This is not footage of something supernatural. This is bullshit. If you can bring proper evidence, proper sources, confirmed footage that it has not been tampered with, accessible by the public, by authorities, clear footage, not some drunk guy crawling around, apparently a djinn taking the form of a human. Djinns are hearsay. Djinns are mythological beings. They don't exist. It's nonsense. They never did exist. They were beings that the superstitious pre-Islamic Arabs believed in, and the Muslim Arabs simply adopted those beliefs and spread it to the world. There is nothing to it. Thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, I had to do this to myself and to everybody else. But if you like this video and if you want to spread the truth, please like this video, subscribe and share this video. And if you want to support what I am doing, please support me on Patreon or on apostateprofit.com so I can do more work. I will see you very soon. Have a fantastic day and stay away from Islam. Physical, physical, matter, matter, physical, 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 physical. Physical, matter, matter, physical, 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 matter, matter, physical.